Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Buenos dias. <clears throat> if you didn't see my post about a half hour ago, we're doing the uh, single dumbbell and single or single kettlebell workout. Some birthdays coming up this week. Got a couple anniversaries. Meredith Ovies, Nicole Christensen. Happy one year. Other 
side. So send those hips back. Good stretch. Just the warm up, guys. Okay, one more. Nice. Go ahead and take your feet shoulder width apart. Send those hips down nice and low. Stand on up. Squeeze those glutes. Let's go ahead and get 10 air spots. Ready, set, go. Driving those knees out. Get nice and low, guys. Try to get that hip crease below the knee for as far as you can. Once we get 10, team, let's go ahead and get five good mornings. Send those hips back, pulling through. Pitch that down in between your shoulder blades. Nice, once you get these, team, let's get a six, but this time hold the bottom. We're gonna get some of those raises. So, take those thumbs up wide. Five of them. Keep those elbows locked. Come on over to the T. Five of them. And then let's go roller coaster. Five, four, three, nice, two, one. Beautiful. Find yourself just a little bit of space. It can even be the uh, length of your yoga mat not to freak out, but I'd like us to get some uh, bear crawls. So we're going to just do a few down and back. So down, back, one, down, back, two. All right, so get to that quadruped position, opposite hand, opposite foot, walk it on back, same thing, climb it out, take it back, forward, back. Nice guys, that is three. Let's go ahead and shake it out. Let's get over, ooh, my knee a little bit. Let's get over to our weights and actually grab those. So I am probably going to be warming up with my 35. I'm not sure if I might last minute grab my 55, but I was planning on doing this with my 35. So there are two options today. There is a kettlebell that you can have, or there's a dumbbell. I'm gonna first warm up the dumbbell, so as written, and then I'll warm up the same movement with the kettlebell. So bear with me. If you are going with the dumbbell, I want you to first Take that hand to the center, guys. Send those hips back. Pull your hips through. Back down. All right? Make sure your shoulders are staying higher than your hips and you're keeping your shoulders square to the ground. That's that single arm deadlift. So let's go ahead and complete four per side. Same thing with the kettlebell, guys. Send those hips back. Pull those hips through. Shoulders square. All right? Four per side. Ready? Set. Move. Send those hips back. And once you get eight in total, four per side, you can kind of shake it out a little bit. Next, we're gonna do what's known as a high pull. So, we're gonna get down, come up, get that elbow up, nice and high. So, you can watch me press the dumbbell, and I'll even show you the kettlebell version really quick. So down here, keep that chest up, hand to the side, shoulders squared. Come on into those toes. Up nice and high, into those toes. Big push through those legs. Load, explode. Go ahead and get three per arm with that dumbbell. Next, guys, if you're doing this with the kettlebell, I need you to actually practice some uh, single arm Russian swings. So take it in, take it forward. 
and forward. Go ahead and practice three of those per arm. Ready, go. So six in total. When you're getting down, send those hips low. Elbow nice and high. Should be wrapping that up. Now actual movement, guys, is the dumbbell snatch. I'll try to give you a couple angles of this. So first, we're gonna keep those shoulders squared. We're gonna get those hips nice and low. Zip, punch the sky. Control it back down. Zip, punch the sky. Control it back down. Guys, when you're controlling it back down, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that good straight spine, straight torso position. What we don't wanna see ever is losing control of it and rounding out that back as you go down. All right, so I'll go ahead and do one more. I want you guys to go ahead and practice four of those snatches with dumbbell per side. If you're warming up the kettlebell, go ahead and watch me. We're gonna send that kettlebell through, lift it up to eye level. So get tall with it, lift it up to eye level. Go ahead and get three per side. Ready, go. Y'all should be finishing up with the dumbbell. Team, that's one of the limiting factors of today's workout is going that overhead snatch. So first, if you wanna upgrade that weight, you have another weight that you wanna to go to, go ahead. You're shooting for 15 within the round. That means you should be able to complete five for 15 seconds, 20 seconds for sure. All right, it's the only way you're gonna make it in that time domain. Next guys, if you have that kettlebell, we're going to do the movement with the kettlebell. So we're going to send it through the hips, snap it up to the sky, make sure it's rotating and aligned over your head. So cast the fishing line, zip, punch, cast the line, zip, punch. Using a lot of power for my legs, guys, and I'm not allowing that thing to snap back on my wrist. I'm staying a little, a little loose, but not too loose. And I'm highly powerfully pulling through with my legs and with my hips. So let's go ahead and do three per arm. Ready, go. Sweet. And if you're done with that, guys, let's go ahead and go back to that original dumbbell. We're gonna work on a hang clean or power clean. So hang clean guys, hanging out above the knees. You're gonna go forward above the knee, get tall, jump, catch. Here, lean forward, jump, drop, catch. Power clean, if you need a little bit more momentum, is from the ground. So you're powerfully pushing all the way up from the ground. Go ahead and practice two per arm. Ready, go. And guys, since we already practiced that single arm Russian swing, we can use that very similarly, similarly to zip the jacket, pull that elbow, tuck it in close to your chest. You see here, maybe a question popping up. All right, so we're gonna swing it through, zip, catch, you should have your thumb on your collarbone, elbow hugging close to the rib cage. Go ahead and practice three of those cleans per arm with the kettlebell as well. Yeah, Carlisle. John celebrating the anniversaries. A little bit more here. All right, guys. So. 
move it with the dumbbell. It's going to come on up, offset. So keep your shoulders nice and squared. We're going to have it on one side, team. It's going to be really easy to want to twerk your hips in one direction, but I need you to keep your core nice and tight with a nice deep inhale. Exhale up out of the pocket. So get tall with it, keep that chest up, drive those knees out, and get as low as you can. Deep inhale. Exhale up. Once you get two on that side, go ahead and do two on the other side. Ready, go. Shoulders square, no twisting of the torso or the hips. All that strength is coming from right here to control it. And then team, right here with that kettlebell. Get two per side. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and shake it out a little bit. Once you practice those, let's get into a good morning, bottom of a good morning. Take your hands forward. At a slight angle, guys. I want you to take those thumbs up to your armpits. Feel that squeeze of the back. Feel all your width activate, your lats, and then send it back down. Keep those shoulders square to the ground. Come on up. Get that good squeeze. Thumbs to armpits. Back down. Go ahead and do three more in your own. Ready, go. Nice. That's preparing us for one of our next and last movements. It's going to be a lot of post-chain work today, so you're going to feel your backside. If I look over there all crazy, it's because of my dogs. Don't worry about it. It's okay. They're uh, probably fighting it or playing. I'm not sure which one yet. So, team, if you have a box that is about hip height, That'll be helpful for you for this movement. If you do not, like for me, I have to um, go with either my side table right here or go with my couch. I'm doing the couch so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. We're going to be positioning down, keeping our shoulders down and our back nice and flat. Taking that dumbbell to the ground, up to our chest, back down, up to our chest. Squeeze, back down, little tap, up, down. That's just on my right arm. Next, we're gonna flip it over and work that left side. So, go ahead and try three per side. Same thing with the kettlebell, guys. So, I'll demo that over here. You wanna take a peek. If not, go ahead and get going with that dumbbell. Here, up, and down. Keep that back flat, guys. Big squeeze at the top. Now, if there's any chance you're going to upgrade your weight, please do. So, once you get those three per arm, Opposite hand, flat back, control to the chest, back down. You can go ahead, shake it out, grab yourself a drink of water or a couple more sips of your coffee. I'm about to explain this workout. We're gonna get that music off for a little bit. I know it's not a uh, Jordan's, John's wife's favorite song. <laughs> Understand. All right, guys, so welcome in to Wednesday. This is actually um, a power workout, but it's very similar to a push, uh, normal push class. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. We have single dumbbell or single kettlebell, whichever equipment item you have. 
and then we're going to be working for 24 minutes. So we're going to be doing what's known as a EMOM. EMOM is every minute on the minute. So we are going to try to get this work done within one minute or we have to move on to the next. All right. First, first minute, first round. We're going to be doing 15 dumbbell snatches. All right, 15 dumbbell snatches or kettlebell snatches. All right, so either way, y'all need to send your hips down, explode through your legs, powerfully punch the sky, and you need to be up down the center of your body. Don't let that thing go over to the side. 15 of them. Those are gonna get fun. You have 15 of those offset front rack squats. So offset front rack squats guys remember we're gonna have it in the front on one side we're gonna keep those shoulders squared it's hard to read the comments one moment guys if you have any questions I'm gonna reload that so we have 15 of them then we're moving on to the third minute which is gonna be 15 of those dumbbell rows so remember lots of 15s today thankfully that's a little easy to remember okay no no questions yet uh, fourth minute, guys, you get guaranteed rest. Even better news, let me explain it like this really quick. The first round, you're using your right arm only. So, right hand, you're doing 15 of those dumbbell snatches or kettlebell snatches. Right hand, you're doing 15 of the offset squats. All right? Right hand only, 15 of those dumbbell rows left hand on the box to offset your weight. Rest. Then you get a whole round working on the left side. So you get a lot more rest on your right side before you have to do it again. We're gonna be doing 15 on the left arm for round two, 15 left side going down on those offset front rack squats. And then left side, 15 dumbbell rows with the right hand on the box to stabilize you. Sweet, yay. Rest. You get to repeat right side through the third round and then keep going until you hit those six rounds. All right, guys? So switching arms every single round. 15 reps each of those minutes before we do guarantee you a minute of rest. So that means we're trying to work hard during that minute of work. So well, three minutes of work before we earn that minute of rest. That way we try to complete all of it within the minute. So speaking of, score today. Score today is gonna to record your weight, whatever dumbbell or kettlebell that you used, and then rounds completed within the window out of your 18. So we are trying to complete as many as possible. So I gave you that time frame. You wanna be able to complete at least five within 15 seconds, preferably. That way you get a little bit more rest. But worst case scenario, if you get five within 20 seconds each, you're gonna make the time gap before you have to move on to the next exercise. All right, do we have any lingering questions? I'll open up the floor. Checking, checking. Good morning, Shelly. I don't see anything yet, guys. Double checking. Because if not, then we're going to get going on it. So get yourself prepared. Get that mind right. And let's get ready to roll. All right, team, get that drink of water. So Jolene, yep, I just saw your question really quick. I wanna go over this before we get started. Going into the dumbbell snatch, you're going from the ground all the way up. Ground to sky. For a kettlebell snatch, you're only going hips to sky. Hips to sky. Good question. I'm glad you asked. Just to 
make sure I will not be checking this too much after we get going. All right, team, it looks like there's no more lingering questions. Let's get set up for the first minute, which is 15 dumbbell snatches. I'll give you the countdown. You get your mind right first. And we are going to get rolling on it in 10 seconds. So grab that dumbbell you're gonna use, get prepared for it, five, three, Two, one, go. Dumbbell rows before a minute of rest. Three, two, one, go. Nice job, guys. Going on 15, 20 seconds. that back flat. Guys, make sure your shoulders are square towards the ground. We're officially 40 seconds in. guys. We're going 15 double snatches on the left arm or 15 kettlebell snatches. 10. Get ready for it. Whew, 
keep it up guys. 30 seconds. seconds. Nice job, guys. 20 seconds left.
20 seconds, guys. Keep those shoulders squared, hips low. Adjust your hair sometimes. Fix that ponytail. 40 seconds of rest. Then we're going left arm. Second time through it. Hips are going crazy. 30 seconds, team. Yeah, she should be sweating. And if you feel like dancing, this is a good dance break. You know something? For the random. 10 seconds. Get ready for that left side. Three, two, one, go.
20 seconds. 15 for rest. Keep it on through 30 seconds, guys. Sweating. You need sparkling. 
20 seconds. So we're going left side and this is it guys. 15, we're doing 15 of those dumbbell snatches on the left. 10. Get ready for it. Five, three, two, one, go. Nice job, guys. 30 seconds. There we go, 20 seconds in. Deep breath, guys. Going on the last 30 seconds. Come on, team. Team, come on, team. Five, three, two, one. Stop. All right, guys. On that note, let's go ahead and stretch. Get a big lat stretch. Take those hands up. Nice and high. Deep inhale. So exhale out. Let's go ahead and switch hands on the top. Got my right hand on top, left hand. Might be a little variation in that stretch. Extend through those elbows, reach out of the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, find those toes, hug those knees. Hug them in nice and tight, guys. That should feel good on those hamstrings, on the back of your bodies. Just keep your knees straight. Hug it in a little bit more with your next exhale. Let's go ahead and release those hands, release that neck. 
shake it out no a few times, maybe a few yeses. Slowly come on up. Like a rag doll. All right, team, that's the end of it. That was a good one. Let me go ahead and bring you your announcements. All right, guys, don't forget about the portal. That's going to be a lot easier to find things um, as Facebook kind of accumulates more and more posts. Um, today, we are done doing workouts. And then tomorrow, we're back at it. 6 a.m. Power Facebook Live, if you want to join in on that. 9 a.m. Push on Zoom. And then 11.30. Yes, 11.30. Um, we might have something for you, so please keep an eye out on the Facebook. Please and thank you. All right. Whew. Deep breath. We are strong. We did it. It was awesome. Let's go ahead and break it down. If Meredith was here, I'd have her celebrate her one here and Nicole Christensen. So, ladies, from afar, break it down. Tribe after one. Three, two, one. Tribe. 